won't hurt you. Finally. The creature looks healthy. I need to get it to the mansion, quickly. Theodore will know how to handle a Vlorn. I've done as you asked. I managed to find a Vorn. It's in its beginning stage, and it's brimming with essence. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Its juices will strengthen your bond to the land of eternal ecstasy. The Vorn lose essence with every second they're outside of their natural habitat. Then we haven't a moment to waste, Theodore. We must perform the ritual tonight. Prepare the Vorn. I'll call the faithful to meet at the ritual hall. Mm-hmm. I'll meet you there.
I'll come back later. I don't have time for her dramas. Faithful. Good evening, lady. Come quickly to the ritual hall. Tonight will bring us closer to the land of eternal ecstasy. Yes, my lady. Eternal seems awfully long. What if we have other plans for our retirement? Donald, what are you talking about? Here and now, you may assume a lot of things. But once we all experience eternal ecstasy, your other plans will become meaningless. Get to the ritual hall and be quick about it. Faithful, Master Theodore and I are preparing a ritual to locate a new seeing one. Please gather at the ritual hall with haste. Of course. Theodore and I are preparing for the ritual. You must proceed to the ritual hall at once. The ritual? But the summer solstice is still... There's no time for discussion, Sabinian. The Vorn I've captured is bound to lose its essence at any moment. We must find seeing ones as soon as possible. Yes, my lady. The masks of our fallen faithful. So many dead. Yes? You must be strong, darling. We are preparing a ritual to find a new seeing one. I know this is hard for you, but I need you to join us. Mm. Of course. I'll be right back. All right. I'm counting on you. Welcome, Faithful. May the lustful god look down upon us in joy. I'm glad we managed to gather so quickly. I hope that with the help of the Vorna's mucus and Amanda's gift, we will be able to find a new seeing one who will join our cause. Mm hmm. Time to begin. Eve Lava Brark, Eve Lustga. Drink my potion, Queen. Feel the land of eternal ecstasy. Feel him. Join us. Seeing one.
was that? I better go check in the back. This revolver brings up a lot of painful memories. And it should be better hidden. Lily doesn't like guns. It's Mrs. Hudson's order, and the deadline's today. Maybe those visions are just some kind of intuition, and I'm not going insane. Maybe. Hey, Mom. Still uptight as always? Yeah, thought so. Lily's laptop has been messing up lately, so she often asks to borrow mine. What will I tell her when she asks why my browser's history is empty? Mrs. Hudson's order is ready. Now I just have to call her. Oh. Hello? Hello, this is Victor Holloway speaking. I managed to complete your order. Oh, splendid! Did you have any trouble with it, sweetie? None with the book, but I did have to battle for the coin. I've also confirmed each item's authenticity for you. Wonderful. I'll stop by in the morning and pick it up. Oh, and Victor, your grandma would be so proud of you. You gave the shop a brand new life. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks. That's nice of you to say, Mrs. Hudson. But, you know, you could bother to dust the place from time to time. I'll look into it. Good. Good. By the way, I saw Lily yesterday. I even chatted with her. So I've heard. Such a lovely girl. She reminds me so much of your mother. Uh, Mrs. Hudson, if she was anything like my mother, I wouldn't be with her. Victor, you shouldn't speak like that about your own mother. You didn't know her like I did, okay? Hmm. Well, then, are you and Lily planning to get married? I don't want to talk about that right now. Your poor grandmother watching from above, seeing what's happening under her roof. Oh, I really shouldn't be getting this worked up. Take care now. Goodbye. Uh, and thank you. Yep, and a splendid day to you as well, Mrs. Hudson. Mrs. Hudson is the type of antique that I really don't like dealing with. <sighs> okay, that's enough work for the day. I just need to close up shop, then I can spend some time with Lily.
Shit. It's past six already? Lily should be back from band practice soon. I gotta set things up for our date. Ever since Lily, I've been trying to give up these things. I need to trash it. I forgot that I locked the door. That's right. The key is stashed inside a box in the living room because I didn't want Lily to find her gift. Beyond the gates of our universe swirls lust god. In the face of the absolute truth, its light is the only way. Fuck, what's wrong with me? Ah, uh, uh, I have to get my shit together. That should be just about everything I need for a special evening with Lily. I really hope she likes the guitar.
everything is in place. Man, I just hope it's not too cheesy. Crazy? This... is this for me? Seriously? <laughs> of course. Our anniversary. <laughs> oh, you goddamn romantic. Hey, I told you we didn't need to do these kinds of things. But... wow. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Victor beautiful gift for the most beautiful girl in the world. Are you peddling antiques or compliments, mister? Oh, uh, baby, can you go grab my pick? It's downstairs in my backpack. I'll tune this beauty up in the meantime. Sure thing, but you gotta play me that new song from your band. take a little more whining and dining to get you into bed tonight. Well, maybe I'm the one getting you into bed tonight. Let's call it my gift to you. Sex for a guitar, huh? Is that a fair trade? <laughs> oh, shut up and get over here, you loon. We need to celebrate. Slower. Slower. Really? Don't you mean faster? Seriously. Hey, slow down. Victor, <sighs> quit it! Don't fucking stop it! What? I told you to stop! Damn it! But... Move. Please, just... Get away from me. All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. I really am. No, 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 not this again. When will these fucking nightmares end?
me like never before.
Dr. Austerlitz is probably like all the other doctors I've been to. They're useless. No, the sky's the limit. His methods are unconventional, but you've already tried everything else. Honestly, it can't hurt to just try him out, Victor. Look, what happened on our anniversary was terrible. It cannot happen again. It just can't. But I don't feel good about this guy. Just because he helped Tim doesn't mean he'll help me. Believe me, Tim is a different man now. Maybe, but he still sucks on the drums. Oh shit, first traffic jams and now the police? And I'm late already. I gotta go. Right, well, fingers crossed. Evening, sir. The road is closed. You'll need to turn your vehicle around. Why can't I go that way? Am I lost? The road is closed for safety reasons. There are celebrations taking place in Bleakmore. Which road do I take to get to Bleakmore, then? Uh, sorry, it's just not possible at the moment. Please turn around, sir. What kind of celebration are they having if people can't even go into the city? Did something happen? Sorry, sir. I'm just following orders. You need to turn around. But I can't miss my doctor's appointment. Doctor? What doctor? Uh, Dr. Austerlitz? Oh. Well, in that case, please go on ahead. Uh, sorry for the trouble. What? Are you serious? Uh, my apologies. Uh, go on ahead, sir. Welcome to Bleakmore. Oh, uh, thank you. Goodbye. Ah, it's late. I hope Dr. Austerlitz is still working. His office should be nearby. This has to be the least popular fair in Massachusetts. Where's everyone gone? the office. Yikes. Looks even more dodgy than I thought. That looks like an interesting tradition and a fire hazard.
Damn it. I guess he's already gone for the day. Hmm. I'll try to call him. No, no! Ugh, my fucking battery died. I think I see a few of Austerlitz's flyers over there. Unfortunately, there's no handle on the gate, so I can't get in. Hmm, maybe I could use that phone. I'm not too drunk to find that key, I think. <laughs> God, what a mess. It looks like my storage room. doesn't even work. Whatever the technicians did, they did it wrong. Square head screwdriver. Might be useful. What the? Good news, the phone is working. Bad news, I don't have Austerlitz's phone number. Even worse news, I don't have a coin to make a call. In my car, I should have that one coin.
Uh, did I say it was too empty in here? Yeah, I take that back. Um, excuse me, I need a little help. It's an emergency. Mrs. Hudson's next order. Well, this is about to be the most expensive call of my life. Where is everybody? Hello? Come on, somebody pick up. That fucking coin's worth a fortune. Dr. Charles Austerlitz speaking. Uh, hello. Uh, we had an appointment for today, but yeah, I was late because I got stuck in traffic jams, then my phone died. My name is, uh... Victor Holloway, of course. I'll be in my study in 20 minutes. Oh, um, actually, it's pretty late, and I'm tired after the trip. I... I plan to get a room in town. Uh, stop by your office in the morning if that works for you. Nonsense. Please come by tonight. I would like to start therapy immediately. Really? Uh, is it really that urgent that I can't wait till morning? I'm not in danger or anything. I'm all booked up tomorrow, so you'll need to come by now. I'm very interested in meeting with you and learning more about your situation. I... I don't know. I don't want to cause trouble. Maybe we should just reschedule for another time in the next few days. Oh! Wonderful! I just found a slot for tomorrow. I don't know how I could have missed it. Yes, tomorrow morning will work. Be here at 7 a.m. sharp, alright? There's a fair in town. I, I hope I can find a room to stay in. If not, I'm going home. Mr. Victor... It's your lucky day. I had a room booked for another patient, but he felt unwell and had to cancel at the last minute. 
You can spend the night there. The room is already paid for. Well, that's an incredible coincidence. It certainly is. I couldn't have said it any better myself. At least now, something good will come out of Mr. Gregory's stomach ache. Hmm. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Yes, of course. Oh, and please, mention my last name at the hotel desk. Is there anything else you'd like to know before our meeting in the morning? Could you tell me what's happening in the town? A special night, Mr. Holloway. It's the summer solstice. The people of Bleakmoor revel in this celebration. It's an important tradition here, with historic roots dating as far back as the Roaring Twenties. Our little town brims with joyful singing and dancing during the summer solstice. Some of the locals are probably blindly drunk and dead to the world already. I've never heard of such customs. I'd like to know more about Bleakmoor. In Bleakmoor, we are a reserved lot, Mr. Holloway. But feel free to look around and experience what our solstice celebration entails. Do you think we can solve my problems? It all depends on how far you're willing to go to face the issues. The path of purification is one we must walk together. The path of purification? What do you mean by that? Oh, never mind. Please forgive me. I tend to speak without a filter at times. Do you have any other questions? I think everything's clear. In that case, I hope you dream well, despite the solstice festivities. And if those dreams should become unpleasant, then call me right away. No matter the hour, I will be here, Mr. Victor. Hmm. See you later, then. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to rent a room for one night. Sorry, sir. All our rooms are booked because of the fair. It will be near impossible to find a vacancy during this time of year. I'm here on behalf of Dr. Austerlitz. He said there was a room ready for me. Oh, right. You must be Mr. Victor Holloway. Please forgive me. Here's your key. You'll be in room 207. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Good night. Unfortunately, our lighting system is on a fritz, so we have to use more traditional methods for now. Please take the lamp with you. An oil lamp? Huh. You think a better invention would exist? Something from the last century, at least. Well, there are flashlights. Oh, you don't say. It's a local product. A bleak more speciality. Yes, yes, please help yourself. Excellent, excellent. That's enough. You're delicious already. I need to call Lily. She must be worried sick.
Hello? Hello, is this the dry cleaners? Uh, no. Now that's too bad, because I'm having some dirty thoughts. Victor, you jerk! I was so worried about you! Tell me what's going on! I couldn't meet with the doctor tonight. We had to reschedule for tomorrow morning. What happened? Oh, never mind. I just want you to still think of me as a capable man. Or at least one that remembers to charge his phone before he drives out of town. Where are you now? It says hotel at the door, but inside it looks like a dust museum run by cockroaches. People love it. The whole place is booked, but the good doctor got me a room. That's nice of him. How do you like the town? It's fantastic. Festive crowds in the streets, giving out high fives and beer. And there's a ton of beautiful half-naked ladies on stilts all over me. Victor, I've been with you long enough to know that when you try to joke around like this, that means you're scared of something. What's really happening? If I tell you what's happened, it doesn't seem like anything really, but something's off. Bleakmore gives me the creeps. You're not there for the holiday. Just do what you gotta do and come back home. You're right. Maybe. Seems like you're keeping things to yourself. Do you know anything more about this guy, Austerlitz? I have an unsettling feeling about him. What do you mean, babe? I don't know. It's like he cares too much. There's an intensity about him. Lily? Oh, that's so much like you. Someone's being kind, and you're just looking for some hidden meaning. That's not it. There's more to him. Is there... is there anything else you know? Tim didn't tell me anything else, but I remember how it was. He didn't come to the rehearsals. He was looking at foot photos on his phone all day long and... You know... Listen, the most important thing is that he's changed. And you can too. We're talking about Tim. And we're supposed to be talking about Dr. Austerlitz. I, I really don't know what to tell you. I searched online about him, and apart from the drama concerning his unorthodox methods, I could only find out that he's the grandson of Doreen Austerlitz. Apparently she's some well-known professor. A professor of psychology and philosophy. Yeah, I know. I've read a few conspiracy theories about her. Parapsychology, esotericism, occultism. But what do we care about his late grandmother? How do you know about all this? Did you read about Austerlitz before leaving? I found fuck all. I'm still looking for solid info. I I'm sorry, I don't know anything else. You're getting too worked up about this. Everything's okay, right? And how are you doing? At rehearsal, Steve was a bit out of tempo, but you know him. A lousy bass player. Well, that's new. Since he's in the band already, it would be harsh to just let him go. You like that Steve guy, don't you? You're so dumb. But maybe I should consider him as an option. Maybe he wouldn't beat me. Hey, stop joking around about that. I'm serious. All right, well, sorry for trying to lighten up the mood. Let's get back to what's going on with you. I'm exhausted. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? I spent way too much time wandering around this town. I'm just calling to let you know that the meeting was postponed, and, uh... And that I'm still having major doubts about the whole thing. What? We talked on the phone earlier. He's a weird guy. He sounded like he would do anything to meet me. Victor... You're exaggerating a lot. Maybe. Or maybe it's intuition. You're really not gonna go, are you? I, I thought you were doing this for us. I know, Lily. I know, I have to sort this out, but this might not be the way to do it. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Look, I'll make my decision later. I'm not in the right headspace for it now. But if I get up in the morning and leave this fucking town, don't hold it against me, please. Come on, say something. What should I tell you? I can't force you to do anything. And I love you for that. Okay, I should get to sleep now.
Wait. One more thing. Oh, sounds serious. Let me guess. We should just be friends? Tell <laughs> real funny. No, I, I just wanted to say, be brave. And I love you a lot. Sleep well, Victor. Good night, love. I don't know about him. This place looks like a historical reconstruction of a hotel from the mid-20th century. Huh. Actually, it's more like a reconstruction of a dump. Big Doc is watching me. Star Hotel. Yeah, if you're a cockroach. I actually kind of like all the dust and old stuff, but this is too much, even for me. Oh, I'm dead tired. Glad there's an alarm clock, because there's no way I'd be getting up in the morning without it. Ooh, it was a long day. Too long. Big Doc will be watching me even while I sleep. Great. Somebody forgot their clothes, or didn't have time to pick them up. Six should be five. Huh? The hell was that? Seven, eight, 
Take the bait. You're not asleep, sir? <sighs> Do I look asleep to you? Oh, apologies. You must have been woken up by the noises. The people of Bleakmoor are quite loud during the festival. Some don't know self-restraint. Ah, uh, that's all right. I was just a little spooked. Everything is all right. You can go back to bed. One, two, the red hunts you. Three, four, steps on the floor. Five, six, lashes and flicks. I should lock the door. This town is full of weirdos. I'm going back to bed. If someone wakes me up again, I... I won't do anything either. Come with us. You'll be safe. Come on. Take her the way you'd love to. Oh, you were fantastic. You don't even know how fantastic you really were.
Like room 101 is the only way out. I just need to do something about the fucking padlock first. Jeez, that ugly child was just really such a hot mess. This will cut through the padlock. You little twat, huh? <laughs> we'll fix that. I've been wandering around here. I should. I'm so vicious. <laughs> 